the jig of the day, the natural. Very hard pattern to tie, really. We're going to learn how to tie this dude. Are you ready to run and gun? It's time for blast off. Let's go. Hey guys, Todd here with you. Welcome back to Bassman 101, The Natural. This is a simple pattern. I know I say that every time, but it really is. I don't know. I don't usually go more than four colors on a tie. But that's just a simple green pumpkin and green color kind of, kind of jig. We're going to learn how to tie this. Let's go to the table. Okay guys, so what we have for this color is called The Natural. tape off that again and again because there's black I got 10 strands of black I've got 10 strands of cream and 25 strands of olive everything's been pulled apart in the center I call this skip tying or we call it skip cutting however you want to do it that's really not skip cutting a skip tying and then I have regular green tinsel six strands I'm going to start with Loctite I want just a drop because it keeps that skirt from spinning around the collar two tin Danvilles always use black because it doesn't matter you got the wee guard and everything else now again, I'm going to keep this towards the top. Make sure it's all spread out even. Yep, we're good. Now on the bottom, I'm going to do the green pumpkin. Again, splitting it right down the middle. Six inch tabs even on both sides. The advantage of skip tying is I can take just 25 strands and make it go all the way around the collar. Now I'll take the cream, since this is the lighter color and it's bold, I want to hide it inside The jig. That way it looks a lot more natural. And I actually want this to kind of come up and around. This is a little thicker rubber here, but I've soaked it in alcohol, like I told you before. But it's hard to find. I'll take it when I can get it. I actually want this to be a little bit more around the jig. So let's move these strands around a little bit. It's where I want them to be. I want them to come just a little past midpoint. Like that. I still want the green pumpkin on top, but I want that natural kind of look to stay in there. Alright, now I'll go with the 
darker green tinsel. Like I said, I want to keep it towards the bottom, but I want to kind of spread out a little bit. That's perfect. Next we have Sally Hansen's Clear. Do about three or four inches of it until you run it out. A few whip knots. I'll pull right in that finish. Never had Sally Hansen's go apart on me. Holds very well. All right. Now we're going to cut the weed guard loose. Let go of the tinsel. Don't be scared to pull the strands tight. This is rubber, not silicone. You can get away with pulling it tighter. Alright, so for the fuller tabs, I like to break those in half. Just makes them easier to cut. I think we're good. Okay. Now what I do is I take a wide side of a comb. We'll come through the rubber and this tinsel, make sure everything's gonna, gonna sit right. I think we're good. Now, take my tip clip while I'm dropping everything off the table. I'm gonna spread that dude out. I'm going to cut it straight across three quarters of an inch below the bend of that hook. Kind of spread it out a little bit better. Just like that. I'm going to 45 it up both sides. There we go. All right. I don't want to go past the bend of that hook because then I'm making it too choppy. All right, there you go. The natural, which is just a green pumpkin natural cream colored skirt a little black to melt in with the weed guard and the head a little dark green tinsel you can use a root beer trailer you can use all kinds of stuff on that there you go guys the natural well guys there you go the natural green pumpkin and cream a little big green flash a little black i mean you can use pumpkin root beer with green flake or pumpkin with green flake you can use green pumpkin green pumpkin green flake whatever you want to use doesn't matter black it's up to your own creation that's what be about bass fishing let the bass tell you what they want so that's what i got guys so may the father bless you and keep you in yeshua's name and until i tie another one next time fish out <laughs> Oh, <laughs>